So I'm here with Vincent from Far Cry 4. Vincent, how's EGX been for you so far? It's been amazing. Great show, lots of people. It's good. Have you got to see any games or have you literally just been stuck in this room? I had a chance yesterday during the tech setup to sneak around and see some games, yeah. And you mentioned so you're hosting something on the Ubisoft stage where a bunch of YouTubers are going to play through the game live, is that right? Yes, that's right, yeah. We have uh, the Fortress demo, uh, which we showed at the, which is playable now on the, on the floor. Uh, we'll have a demo as do like a, a regular playthrough of it, and then we'll have the YouTubers, because uh, there are three different ways you can play the demo. So we'll have uh, two YouTubers afterwards give it a go with uh, different loadouts. So how do you, you say there's three different ways of playing it. How do you play it? I'm a bit of a like mix of stealth and explosive. Like I try to go stealth, and if shit hit the fan, I just go crazy and throw C4 and mines and grenades, and yeah, that's how I play it. I had a go at E3 and I was trying to play it like cool because I jumped on the back of an elephant and I really liked that, that was really good fun. But then I, someone told me you could throw C4 from the elephant, so I did that, but I threw it like right in front of my elephant, then it blew up. Uh, so I jumped off and someone was really, like I think I was playing for like one of your colleagues, and he said, why don't you jump on my elephant instead? So I was like, okay, cool, so I jumped on the elephant, but it started freaking out and running around and like killing people, like how, is that, the elephant's just really unwieldy? Well, I mean, if you, uh, it's, it's a passive animal by nature, but if you, if you tackle it or if you make it mad, it's just going to go stampeding everybody. It's just going to go mad. Yeah. So we've seen quite a lot of the multiplayer. Like, what can you tell us about the single player? Like, what's going on in the world? Basically, you play, uh, the, the game takes place in Kirath. It's a fictional country set in the Himalayas. Um, we really, this time around, like, when we were scouting around for location in the, you know, in, in Google Maps and, and, and you know around the world to pick a location for the game. Uh, we there's few things we wanted. We wanted more more verticality. And that's something that the Himalayas really gives. We wanted the diversity in the type of environment. And um, you know in these areas, you'll go from the bottom of the valley. There are really lush plains. You know a lot of vegetation. Uh, and as soon as you start going up, you'll see like more pine trees and more rocky area, all the way up to the the mountains you know, snowy peaks of the, uh, of the Himalayas. So that gave us a good, uh, you know, a, a good palette to play with. And uh, the, uh, everything gameplay related as well. Like we wanted more animals, we wanted the elephants, stuff like that. So all these animals are naturally uh, living in these parts of the world. So after Far Cry 3, like everyone was a huge, huge fan of Vast. Like even though he was a bit of a dick, well, a bit of a dick, he was awful. But like, how do you come up with a better bad guy than that? You make him different. I mean, Pagan Min is... You can't really compare him to Vas because they were totally different characters. Um, like, like Vas was more like the schoolyard bully that would like beat you up and steal your lunch. And uh, Pagan Min is more like your best friend who's sort of whispering you're here to go steal a car and like man manipulates you. And then he comes home to like for dinner and he and he's like... He, he charms your mom because he's like, you know very polite and everything he's like that type of more manipulative and uh, very flamboyant as well uh, type of character you should definitely make some dlc like a little mini game like paying min charms your mom can you do it like a, a little like relationship little thing that'd be awesome <laughs> that'd be amazing yes maybe it's like a little thing for you to get off afterwards that'd be really good yeah i'll give you credit if we put in dlc that's awesome, man. But one last thing before we go. So this is a pretty good interview, and uh, because this has gone so well, I'm going to let you put your hand in my special sack and pull out a treat, and you can take that treat home with you. Yeah. So close your eyes. There's only a couple of good things left in there. But my favorite thing is still in there. See if you pick it out. I was going to the dentist when I was young. After, after the dentist, he had like a loot chest, and you could pick something out of it. <gasps> That's one of my favorite ones. Oh. You know what? Actually, from the dentist, you could get these things. Serious? When I was young, yeah, you just throw them and they stick. Man, in Wales, all you have was like a sticker, like a Brave Star sticker. That's all I got. That's awesome. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Good luck with that. Thank you very much. See you. Good day.